Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Strawberry Oatmeal Breakfast Bars. That's right, I'm always on the lookout for easy and delicious things to make for breakfast that on one hand are relatively healthy and good for you, while on the other hand, not too good for you. Since after fasting all night, we do want something that seems like a little bit of a treat. And I really do think these fit the bill. Oh, and by the way, these are usually made with strawberry preserves, but here we're using fresh strawberries for a little bit lighter, less high sugar approach. But don't worry, they're gonna be sweet enough. So with that, let's go ahead and get started by dicing our berries. And that'll begin by removing those green leaves from the top, using the tip of a small sharp knife. And sure, if you have one, you could use a strawberry huller, but most people don't have those, so just do it this way. And then what we'll do once that's hulled is place that cut side down and then slice it in half. And then we will cut each of those halves lengthwise like three or four or five times, depending on the size of the strawberry, before turning and cutting across into a nice uniform dice. And that's it. Very simple, very easy. So we'll go ahead and do that to about a pound of strawberries, which is gonna give us about three cups. And then to those, we will add a little touch of freshly squeezed lemon juice, along with a little bit of white granulated sugar. And then we'll finish up with a couple of teaspoons of cornstarch. At which point we'll take a spoon and mix this very thoroughly, or at the very least until all that cornstarch disappears. And that's it, we will simply let that sit out at room temp, while we move on to our only other component, our oatmeal mixture, which is going to start with some rolled oats, or as they're called in every recipe for some reason, old-fashioned rolled oats. I mean, is there some kind of new trendy style of rolled oats I don't know about? But anyway, to that we will add some flour, and I'm going to use half white all-purpose and half wheat, Although if you want, you can use all one or the other. We'll also need a half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar, as well as a little bit of salt, and a nice healthy pinch of ground ginger, which is lovely with both strawberries and oats. And then to bring all this together, we will pour in one stick of melted unsalted butter, also known as eight tablespoons, or four fluid ounces, or 120 ml as they say in France. Only they say it in French. And that's it, once everything's in there, we'll go ahead and work this over with a spoon until we are 100% positive that butter is coated every grain of sugar and every single rolled oat. And if everything goes according to plan, it should look something like this. And don't be concerned if this mixture looks a little dry to you. Okay, don't forget we're using fresh strawberries, which are gonna release a fair amount of liquid. So we're gonna be okay. And then once that's set, we'll go ahead and transfer 60% of that mixture into the bottom of a buttered baking dish and we'll do our best to get that as even as possible. And if you're wondering, how the heck am I supposed to transfer exactly 60% in? Well, you're not. Okay, just transfer in what you think is about half, and then add a little more. And once that's been accomplished, what we'll do is pack it down a little bit with the back of a spoon or a spatula, just to compress and compact that a little bit, before we top it with our strawberries. And if we have one, what we'll want to use here is a slotted spoon, so that any of those excess juices stay in the bowl. At least for now. Oh, and unlike that layer of crumbs we just did, we do not want these diced strawberries compressed. So we'll sort of sprinkle those over with a relatively light touch. And the reason for that is, we want our top layer of crumbs to sort of nestle down into all the nooks and crannies. And if we press these strawberries down now, there aren't gonna be any nooks, and there are certainly not gonna be any crannies. So please spoon those over without pressing them down. Oh, and once you're done, do not discard any of those accumulated juices. Okay, we're gonna use those in a minute. And that's it. To finish this, we'll simply sprinkle over the rest of our crumbs, which should settle in and around those pieces of strawberry quite nicely. But once the last of our crumbs have been applied, then we can and should give this a nice pressing with the back of the spoon. Okay, we really don't want to press those strawberries down into the bottom layer too much, but I think we do want everything nicely compacted. And then for one final touch, we'll go ahead and take that tablespoon or two of strawberry juices from the bowl, and we will spoon that over the top, and when we can't spoon anymore, we will let it drip over the top. And that's it. Once that's been juiced, it is now ready to transfer into the center of a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes or so, or until it looks like this. Okay, that top should definitely be golden brown. And if it's not, put it back in for a while. And then before we serve this, we have to let it cool all the way down. I mean, you could serve it now, but you need a spoon and probably some vanilla ice cream. But if we want breakfast bars, we have to let this cool. Although one thing we can do while this is still hot is take a spatula and give this a nice firm pressing. 
And what that'll do is give us a little nicer, a little denser texture once this is cooled. So we'll give that a pressing and let it cool down to room temp, at which point we can go ahead and cut that into bars. And I cut mine once down the middle, and then turned it and cut it across into eight portions, which is a fairly generous serving. Okay, you could definitely cut those bars in half to make 16, but of course that's up to you. I mean, you are after all the Bruno Mars of your strawberry oatmeal breakfast bars, but if you are actually gonna have these for breakfast, I think cutting this into eight makes the perfect size. Oh, and speaking of size, if you want these thicker, just use a smaller pan. But personally, I do like the thinner approach. But anyway, I served that up and went in for a taste. And if you've cooked it long enough and let it cool all the way down, it should stay together in bar form. And if it doesn't, you must have done something wrong. But that's okay. Just eat it with a fork. But no matter what your delivery system, I think you're going to find these every bit as delicious as I did. Right, the combination of that fresh, just sweet enough strawberry components and those sort of crusty, chewy, granola-like oatmeal crumbs really does make for a wonderful thing to eat. And as I mentioned, these types of fruity breakfast bars are usually made with preserves and tend to be a lot sweeter and more dessert-like. But by using the fresh strawberries, we've achieved something a little bit on the lighter side, yet still sweet enough and very, very satisfying. But if you did want to turn up the sweetness a little bit, some people like to pipe over a few stripes of icing, which is kind of pretty and definitely makes these a little more dessert-like. But personally, especially for breakfast, I like these just the way they are. But either way, I really do hope you give these a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.